I'm out here in Central Texas. We got an invite from Detecting for Life. He's a YouTube channel. Uh, Garen, so y'all make sure y'all go over there and check him out. But I talked with him when Daisy and uh, Nugget was coming through and we set up a hunt to come up here and they hosted us at this, um, it's like a World War II training ground. We're not too far from a base, but the, this is the side of a hill here. You can tell them up on a hill. And on this hill, they have found uh, some anti-tank or, uh, ordinances and they blew it up here on, on the premises, but they also found a bunch of dummy hand grenades, some World War II dog tags. So we've already found some buttons and some uh, ammunition, but there's no telling what we're gonna find. I'm in the hunt for a, uh, a hand grenade. That would be really cool. They're dummy hand grenades. Uh, they're not real ones, but uh, you always gotta be careful when you look at it. But uh, anyway, uh, back out here with Nugget Noggin, Discovery Daisy, and uh, we're gonna see what we can come up with today. When I find something good, I'll put the camera on it. And so I'll see you at the next find. Just kind of working this little path he dug out with a dozer. Just kind of doing this embankment right here. And it goes down to the bottom. And uh, I just got me a 1819 signal. And can you see it? This is what I'm finding a lot of here. I'm finding a lot of these casings. And I laid out here what I've been finding. This is all my finds so far. I found two wheat pennies in the 40s and uh, these casings this little i think it's a rivet button maybe off a piece of uh, uh, equipment but we're going to find a lot of this kind of stuff world war ii training exercise stuff we're looking for that pineapple hand grenade so let's keep at it yeah <laughs> we got the nugget noggin here today up on the hill looking for grenades, grenades. we came down that work down here we're in this flat and we got Dangerous Daisy hey. with us today. She's in a hard search for a grenade as well. We're gonna look down here in this bottom, down there in this creek, see what we can come up with. Well, I'm getting a big old coin spill right here. Check this out. It's not old, but let's see what we got here. One quarter, two, three, four quarters, one, two, three dimes, five pennies, and I think there's still a few more in this area. Hey, that's something, it's better than nothing. Let's keep on going. Made my way down to the creek. Pretty deep creek too. Like maybe about three feet deep, maybe two. If it was summertime, I'd be all off in there because you know there's gonna be a lot of ordinances down in the creek. Honey, beautiful central Texas hill country. Land. I get daisy down there. It's kind of a delayed response. I dug this on the side of the hill where I was in the earlier video. I showed y'all how steep it was. Um, I thought it looked like maybe a, a dummy mortar or maybe a flare round, but I got on Google and it's a M19A1 rifle grenade. So I carried this around for a while before I looked it up thinking it could still be trash, but no, turns out this is something pretty cool I don't have in the display. So adding another World War II relic to that cabinet. Well, we're gonna call it a day. We spent most of the day just trying to chase uh, Garen's drone that he got hung up in the tallest tree down in the bottom. 
at the very top. And so we spent all day trying to get that up there. But we found a few good things here. And this is uh, Detecting for Life. Y'all make sure y'all check out his channel there. It's Detecting with a four for life. And he's the one that invited us out to come up here. And uh, what'd you get, Gary? Okay, I got lots of the blanks. Those things are everywhere. Um, part of a mess kit. Uh, we got a wrapper, so we know this is from an MRE, so that tells us that they did camp on that flat spot that I showed earlier in my video. Um, there's wheat pennies, and I did get an 1884 Indian head that's in really good shape. This may be before World War II. I don't think they were still... Yeah. I mean, it could have been in there. I mean, the pioneers coming through here. The pioneers did come through. We are in the frontier, aren't we? So that's what I got. These are all my finds. Uh, these are all blanks. Uh, they fired these blanks out here. And I have one that still has the stuff in it. And uh, I found a, a coin spill. I got two Wheaties, one 1944, one 1923. And then this is Chris here. He's with Garen. Uh, he got the most finds of the day. He's got these M1 or the M1 grins, yeah. and they go like this right here. These bullets go in here, like that. That's a clip that they throw in the gun and put them in there. He found lots of Wheaties, and he found these buttons. So he didn't help us yeah, he general. didn't help us get the drone. <laughs> but it's it's World War II uh, relics, is what it is. Stuff that's not real old, but it's kind of neat to put in your collection. So I add these to my World War II collection and. Uh, and call it a day so uh well that's it folks hope you enjoyed the video make sure you check out garen at detecting for life make sure you check out nugget and daisy on their channels as well until next time just want to wish everybody happy hunting and god bless <music>